So here we are midsummer, and that means that the first cabbage from the garden is ready to use. And we are going to make coleslaw, and for something a little different, we're going to make a pineapple coleslaw. And I need about four cups of grated cabbage, and I should be able to get that out of about half of this cabbage. So, you know, I cut the end off, now I got a flat spot to put the cabbage down. I'm just going to cut it in half, and I'm going to cut this half into quarters. I guess I'll go with the big half. Technically, if it was really half, there wouldn't be a big half. <laughs> and then I'm going to cut the heart out of each of these quarters. I guess I could have cut a little more of that. Once you've got this, you can either cut it this way if, if you want long pieces. I'm going to go for shorter pieces, so I'm going to cut it across this way. I think I'm going to start at this end though. And we're just going to go as small as possible. And we'll end up with our nicely sliced cabbage. So we'll come back once all that's done. and. Uh, move on with our pineapple we have easily four cups out of just one quarter of that cabbage so now um, to help mix up the color a little bit here i've got some red cabbage and i'm just going to do the same thing with a quarter of this red cabbage and um, then we'll have a nice little color combo in our coleslaw all right, I've got my cabbage in the bowl here. The next step is to cover this with water. And uh, I'm gonna add in cold water, by the way. Um, we're gonna add a teaspoon of salt to this. And we're, what we're going to do with this is we're drawing a little bit of moisture out of the cabbage so that uh, our coleslaw doesn't get soggy as it sits. So that's just enough water to cover it. One teaspoon of salt. Mix it about. And we're gonna let this sit for 20, 20 minutes or so. And uh, we'll come back when we're ready to do dry it out again. So our next ingredient is carrot. I need about a cup of shredded carrot. I'm gonna see if I can get it out of one or if I have another one if I need to. Uh, I peeled it and cut off the ends and I'm just gonna, you know, grate it. Isn't that great? Yeah, isn't that great? Wonderful. <laughs> and then uh, I have here a half of a red onion. And uh, you could treat this any number of ways. You could just cut it into really thin slices like you did with the cabbage. I'm going to see if it grates. Um, and this is also going to give us a little extra color in our slaw. That's a little too fine. That's pretty fine too. Where's the, oh, it's over here. I'm just gonna work this into the slaw for the flavor. I just don't want the pieces to be too big. While we're getting stuff ready here, um, one Serrano, this beautiful little Serrano came out of the greenhouse. It's our first Serrano of the year. We have a lot more in the greenhouse coming along. And I'm just gonna cut this into very, very small pieces. So nobody gets a giant piece of Serrano. Yeah, they're like a, they're pretty spicy. They're spicier than jalapeno, but not as spicy as a habanero. Yeah, it's a moderate. 
Yeah. They, a moderate chili. They'll definitely add some heat to something, but... It's one of my favorite chilies to use. Yeah, it shows up in a lot of things you make. Yes, it is. So next, our uh, pineapple. Um, you can do this with fresh pineapple, um, but there's, it will probably turn brown. Uh, and you got crushed pineapple there. So this is crushed. You could use diced. Crushed, I didn't want too big a chunks, so I was just going with the crushed. And I'm saving the juice from the can, because we're gonna use it as part of our dressing. And I'm gonna rinse this pineapple, and then I'm gonna dry it a little bit. Pat, just pat dry on paper towels. Um, otherwise, you know, we run the risk of sogging out our salad in the morning. All right, so there's enough juice. And rinse it quickly. And we'll let it dry. I'm gonna, I'm gonna let it sit in here for a little while to uh, get some more of the water out of it. Is it thicker on the side? That's a sharper. Or a new sink. It fits, fits over here. Yeah. Okay. okay. And uh, that's that. We'll dry that out. We're, our cabbage is almost done soaking. We're going to strain that. And uh, we're also going to dry this out. Now, with if you're using red cabbage, you don't want to do this with a dish towel because the cabbage will stain your towel. So I'm gonna do this with uh, paper towels as well because we don't care for steam. Even though we, don't, we do try to use single-use products as little as possible, there are times when we really want to. It's set for long enough. We're going to strain it off. Noisy sink. Lose some water in the colander. And then I'm going to dry it with the towels. And then, while it's drying, I'm going to make my dressing. Okay, so uh, just right in your salad bowl here, three quarters of a cup of mayonnaise. Oh, that all came out of there. That's nice. That is nice. A half a tablespoon, well, let's see, let's do this first. Two tablespoons of our um, pineapple juice from the uh, can. And then a half a tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. the juice of one lime, which should work out to be about a tablespoon. That's a very handy gadget. Yes, it is. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, gosh, right in my eyes. <laughs> okay. It worked. And salt. Whoops, well, that's this. pepper. And pepper. 
and this is just the that's about a quarter teaspoon and I'm gonna use probably I don't want to go overboard because you can always salt this later so that was about a quarter teaspoon of salt probably and then we're gonna whisk this just to get it all mixed together. And then we're gonna build our salad right in this bowl and be able to toss it around. Okay, that's that. So now we go in with our, uh, we would just go in with our uh, cabbage except part of this process of drying it out can why don't you bring the bowl over to that is to oh, I squeeze see. it a little bit I don't see a lot of water running off of this so I'm just gonna say it's probably good <clears throat> so we'll just get this right this seems precarious Yep. You don't really need a lot of this on the floor. Especially since I vacuumed this morning. Perfect time. I know, always. I already saw something over there. Chances are. I know. So I'm cooking. Yeah. Okay. There's our cabbage. We've got all our chopped up ingredients. We'll spread these out a little for all the good it'll do. And I've got some onion left on here. And on here. Okay. That gets most of that stuff. And then our serrano. We're gonna be eating this for days. That's usually how it goes. I know. And this is only a quarter of that cabbage. <laughs> have to come up Fortunately, the there's only one cabbage ripe right now. It's not like we're struggling to eat three cabbages. Yeah, Which, that you know was that's, smart. How, that's how it goes when you garden. <laughs> so this just needs to all get mixed around and get some dressing on it. We're also going to add a couple more ingredients. We need a, about a quarter cup of chopped cilantro. And there's something else, I forget. What about your pineapple? Oh, the pineapple has to go in here. That would be an important ingredient for a pineapple slaw. My mouth's watering. I'm excited to eat this. <clears throat> okay, so our pineapple dried up a little bit, turned into a uh, pineapple patty. And break it back up. Mix that in. Yeah, I don't know if the crushed pineapple was a good idea. Might be fine. Well, I, mean, I could also like cut each of the tidbits in half. Otherwise, I just feel like they're too big. Mm-hmm. Yeah, 
There isn't anything between mm -hmm. those two. Yeah, this is looking pretty good. Yeah, it is. Okay, still got some chunks of pineapple in here, but we're going to be mixing some more anyway. So, at this point, we want to see how we're doing as far as seasoning. Pretty good. Okay, so I'm gonna get out some cilantro and we'll come so back. So our last two ingredients. I have two rather smallish green onions that I've just cut up into very small little wheels. And I've got about a quarter cup packed of uh, cilantro, chopped cilantro leaves. And I chopped these up pretty fine. And uh, that's it, that's everything. And this needs to sit in the fridge for a minimum of four hours to marry all these uh, flavors and uh, and then it'll be ready to eat. It's pretty good right now so too. It is, mm. it is good now so I think it's just going to be really incredible later on. We're going to uh, cook up a pork tenderloin on the barbecue and serve this as a side for that today. It's going to be great summer fair. So there you have it. Um, yep, pineapple slaw. So thanks for watching Two Cooks in the Kitchen, and we'll see you next time.